What's up, Lockdown Legion? Welcome back to Nerds on Lockdown. I am Chris, and as always, we are back with another unboxing video. Um, today, we're going to be unboxing the Hyperkin Duke controller for the Xbox One, um, which is basically, and, and Windows 10, uh, which is basically just a, a retro controller uh, uh, coming from the um, the original Xbox uh, kind of scheme of the 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 Duke controller, the big big Duke controller, and I was really interested in this uh, controller when it uh, came out. Um, I think a couple of years ago, actually. I just never bit the bullet to buy one because you know, I mean, they were they were a little expensive at the time. Um, however, for Christmas, uh, thank you, Dad. Um, <laughs> I got a, a gift card uh, for um, Xbox or Microsoft, I should say, and I was uh, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to buy with it, and I was browsing around. Um, the Microsoft Store, and uh, I almost got another Series X controller, and I figured, uh, you know, this is the perfect time to kind of buy one of these, uh, you know what I mean? And um, I got the, they, co they come in two uh, different colors. They come in the black original, and they come in sort of a this see-through green, and um, I decided to get the see-through green because I thought it was cool. Now, this is mostly going to be more of a collector's um, thing for me. Um, however, um, I'm interested to, to, to try it to see uh you know how it plays and you know what it does and how uncomfortable it actually is um but anyways as you see right here with the box um it is uh the hyperkin duke um controller um it does have an lcd screen in here uh and when you turn it on it, it gives you that um the original xbox logo uh sort of um a system startup screen um it can support a headset uh wired headset uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming 3.5 millimeter jack, um, and, uh, got the top here, nothing special, sides, just shows the side, and then the back, the other side, and then here's the back right here, and it tells you everything that's in it, um, it's a, yeah, 3.5 head, uh, headset, uh, jack, um, bumpers, it does come with the extra bumpers in the back, so you do get those extra, you know, bumpers, um, uh, so you can use, uh, and you can use this controller on, uh, new games, um, obviously. Um, and then, uh, classic design featuring the original Xbox animated startup screen played right inside the Xbox button. Does, uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, it does have vibration, um, and a nine foot, uh, USB cable. So, and I'm also interested to see if, um, it has the split cable with it, like the original one, where maybe you could put an original adapter on there and play it on your original Xbox. Uh, I'll have to check that out. But um, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and open it right now for you guys. And I'm really excited. I was I was really excited to to get this from X, uh, Microsoft. I was I was hoping it was going to come. It's supposed to come tomorrow. Came a day early, so super excited about that. There we go. All right, nothing else in the box there. It's just black. Got a couple of stickers or, or manuals. Which say very special thanks to everybody that basically made this Hyperkin. I do like Hyperkin stuff. A quick start guide. It's just, you know, normal toilet paper man manual. Comes in a nice little uh, box. It's very, very, um, you know, well put in there. So, uh Let's see this thing. Oh, wow. Okay. So this thing is, uh, it's huge, guys. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> uh, nice and clicky. Um, does feel very much like the original one. Um, in fact, I have the original one to compare. Uh, and then that looks like that's it for the box. I'm assuming this is the USB cable. It does not look like it's a split USB, unfortunately, which I thought would be cool, but it is not. It is a nine foot cable, which is nice. Um, <clears throat> and it just goes right in there. Boom. And then we have, <coughs> excuse me. We have um, this button here. Uh, let's see if I can take the uh, this stuff off here. Come on. There we go. Nice. This is where that Xbox logo is going to be when you turn it on. And um, 
let me hook this up to uh, my PC and uh, we'll turn it on. Just give me uh, one second. Um, so as you guys can see, let's see if I can get, how cool is that? That's pretty rad. I don't know what it is. Oh, so you just press it and it does it. Okay. That's really cool. All right. So what I want to do is I want to go and I want to get an original one. And I'm going to put it side by side. So I have an original Duke controller here and I'm going to put it side by side. So you guys see the difference here. And, uh, yeah. Um, they're pretty much spot on. I mean... It's the same shell, obviously, with a couple different things in it. Um, this is a little bit bigger on this side than the LCD screen is. Obviously, it's not an LCD screen. Uh, tops here. Uh, this is fitted for more of a... Uh, uh, for the um, memory cards. This one does not have memory card slot because, you know, newer systems. Um, these are exactly the same. They feel the same. It's great. And then here are your extra buttons here on this one. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, let's flip it over. Let's check it out. There you go. There's, oh, let me move them over for you guys. There's your difference. Not bad. Um, I will say that, uh, take this one out of the way. I do enjoy this. This is, uh, this is going to be <laughs> interesting to play with and, uh, to enjoy maybe i'll try some cyberpunk with it and see how that goes um <clears throat> and uh i mean they feel very very similar if not exact so guys if you're um if you guys were thinking about maybe uh getting one of these and uh you know uh checking it out for yourself um they are 59.99 on uh microsoft if you guys they, they have plenty of them in stock i believe they have the black and green, so you guys check it out for yourself. But it's a great buy right now, especially um, because they were at, I believe, $99 when they first started. So, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the channel, guys. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe out there, and uh, I'll see you guys later. I hope everybody had a good Christmas. See you guys. Peace.